Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Revenge, which is embedded in the, in the, in the tradition of the Fulani man that attracts the prisoner from all Absolutely. over the, the If the I understand world. it, does that mean that those Fulani men who are uh, maybe domiciled in other countries who move around, they can come into the country and this plan will accommodate them as well? Yes, that's what we want to do. But it has to be done through sensitization. Fulani SME from Chad needed to benefit from federal government's livestock plan. Fulani SME from Chad Niger and other neighboring countries will benefit from the National Livestock Transformation Plan, the Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohamed has said. Mohamed, who was a guest on Chinese television's Sunrise Daily on Monday, said since Fulani Esme are nomadic, it would be inappropriate to deprive them from benefiting from the livestock plan just because they are not from Nigeria. The initiative will be 80 percent funded by the federal government while the state would provide 20 percent counterpart funding and the grazing land the governor whose state is among those that will be part of the initiative said fulani exists in many countries across africa and share a borderhood which transcends boundaries when asked how the government would ensure that only nigerians benefit from the livestock plan muhammad said I think there is a lot of mistrust and misconception as regards the Fulani man. The Fulani man is a global or African person. He moves from the Gambia to Senegal and his nationality is Fulani. As a person, I may have, I may have my relations in Cameroon, but they are also Fulani. I am a Fulani man from my maternal side. We will just have to take this as our own heritage something that is african so we can not just close our borders and say the fulani man is just a nigerian in most cases the crisis is precipitated by those outside nigeria when there is a reprisal it is not the fulani man within nigeria that causes it it is that culture of getting revenge which is embedded in the traditional fulani man that attracts reprisal when asked if it was right to allow foreigners to benefit from Nigerian taxpayers' money, the governor said it was proper. Wow. He said Fulani don't actually have one single nationality since they are nomadic in nature. Mohammed said, we are already accommodating them. Do you delineate and really know who is not a Nigerian Fulani? They are all Nigerians because their identity, their citizenship is Nigerian even though they have relatives from all over the world. So presumably they are Nigerians because they move all over and have relations all over. That is why our population in Nigeria is flawed. When asked if there would be any form of documentation for the Fulani Esme coming into Nigeria from other countries, the governor said, yes, this will give Nigeria the opportunity to opportunity of having proper documentation and knowing the demography because the full animal settles anywhere he can feed his castle. The livestock plan which has been championed by Vice President Yemi Oshimbayu seeks to put Esme and their livestock in designated colonies which will give them the opportunity of exploiting the livestock value chain. Why many northern states have embraced it, their southern counterparts have rejected it. Ah, guys, this thing, this one weak meal. Ha! Can you imagine what this uh, man is saying? <laughs> and that is the problem I always uh, talk about. I think there's a there's a deliberate act for not us having this uh, biometric uh, data for every Nigerian to be documented, even right from birth. It's not rocket science, but I think it's a deliberate act, even when. Or your state government was talking about on how to profile or on how the Fulani Esme or the headers as they may call them, the Mieti Alad, that they should have a proper documentation for them to be properly identified in case of any crime, you know, if any crime happens anywhere. And I, I, I'm of the opinion that it has to cut across board, not only the 
headers, but it has to be everybody. Nobody even knows anybody. Somebody can commit crime and you cannot be able to trace it unless maybe if the police wants to do go extra mile, you know, and it's going to be in a crude way because when you don't have a proper documentation, it, it's just going to be a guesswork. And that's why you see that they just arrest, you know, even innocent people. And innocent people, a lot of them are inside, inside the prison without proper documentation because they don't even know who is who you know the whole thing is just honestly the whole thing is just it's just tiring and frustrating you can imagine this man saying because somebody is a full and elsewhere so they have to be so they have what they have many nationalities i don't know whether you guys guess what this guy is talking about and he was asked if taxpayers money should be used to fund or for foreigners to benefit from there he's saying yes that it's proper Hey, my goodness, that it is proper for foreigners, even, honestly, it is something else. I don't know what you guys think about uh, this man's statement because, honestly, I, I don't just get it. A lot of people are already reacting to what he has said. Hmm. Someone say, as a PDP Fulani governor, one can now assess the real cause of a problem, a problem caused across parties' line. As he could likely to do worse. If this is coming from a PDP Fulani governor, I guess if any Fulani man can be our president again. Someone say, What? God has exposed them. Nigeria will be head office of terrorists. I'm short of words. If only Yoruba can stop laying high services. Honestly, hmm, the thing he weak me, oh, hmm, he weak me. Like Dodo Way Sokoye. He weak me. Honestly, uh, you know, as I was just going through the news, through, through the news, yeah, I was just like, ah, am I hearing myself very well? Could this be true? Could this be coming out from these people's mouth? Taxpayers' money, full and moving from places to places they are in other countries. No wonder they are always flooding, flooding. Now, they are, uh, borders are not being closed at the other side. But the other side of the country, they, co they can close border. And somebody uh, is saying that uh, 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 closing the border is a disguise, is a blessing in disguise. Can you imagine? But from all those places, that's why we saw a lot of them coming with, you know, in their numbers, a lot of these people coming from Jigawa, coming from the north to Lagos. And Lagos state government said they profile them and they allow them in, into the society. And the question is that how did you profile them? How did you provide them? Even the ones in the state, have you been able to provide them? With what did you provide them with? With what? Hey, we are in for it, honestly. Honestly, we are in for it. Just like somebody said, you know, it's like these guys, they have really, they have an ulterior motive. And a lot of people, we, we know we know that, and a lot of people have been talking about it. You can imagine people have been, who have been saying that there is a plan on ground, there is a plan on ground. There's a plan on ground. There's a plan on ground. People like, oh, it's people are just forming it. People are just trying to cause chaos. You know, when people always talk about uh, Namde Kano, that he, he saw all of these things. I, I'm sure a lot of, of our people today know all of these things, but because of selfishness, I think what is differentiating uh, uh, Namde Kano is that he's bold. Because I know a lot of them know what is happening. But he's just bold and he doesn't want to go through that route. Nobody's perfect, of course. We know that. But one thing is that he's bold. And it was later Obasanjo came out again, started saying the same thing. So with what they have said and with what these guys are saying, is there any difference? Is there no correlation between what we are hearing and with what people have said? He said they can come in because they we have full learnings all over the place. So it is a it's a by a bet right. Is an is an avenue for them to come in to come and benefit from taxpayers' money, and that is what the government is just, you know, uh, using its strength for. That is the kind of next level they are talking about. That is the uh, the, the agenda they are talking about. That this is only the only thing they can bring to the table. They are be fighting, you know, to turn it. They have been fighting with all their strength to make sure that this eruga uh, or livestock or whatever come to place. We don't have any other thing that they want to do. And the governor is saying that 80% of the funding is coming from, from the federal government. You can imagine. Taxpayers' money. Someone said, the cash is finally let out of the bag. The evil agenda of 
the Buhari government is now made public. These governments want to make Nigeria home for all the Fulanis from all over Africa. Christians are in trouble in this country. It is sad that Oshibaju and Adeboye are in full support of this evil agenda because of their selfish interests, evil and occultic pastors. Invariably, Nigeria resources is meant to take care of Fulani in Africa, so Nigeria is not a country for Nigerians. That is it. Oh. Mm, that is it. That is it. So, guys, I would like to hear from you what you think about uh, this talk from this uh, this uh, governor. What is his name? Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohammed. Hmm. Saying Fulani Esme from Chad, Niger, Niger to benefit from federal government's livestock. Please leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye.